Now we can see another example with, uh, for create a very particular situation and for use also the for each, but use also for use the for each, for using, for example, the um, stamp function and for create a very random situation also with the each loops. So we can start with the basic sheen. The basic sheen, I can create, for example, the tube. And on my tube here, I want, uh, I can use also that, it's not impro important uh, with primitives, it's, uh, it's okay. I can change, for example, the radius, because I want to create the cone. There is no cone inside Houdini, the, the little way, only the way for creating the cone, it's create the tube and change the radius. Obviously, it's normal things because it's the geometric, uh, it's the same uh, concept with uh, the different true radius from up and down. However, we can now, we can connect, the, for example, the height with the relative reference and we can divide it by two. In this way, we can say, hey, take my height, but it's up in the base. Now, the height, I can say three, for example. Okay. I have this and now I want to copy this on my grid. So I can create the grid with, uh, for example, a big value 25 for a few space and 10, 10, it's okay, it's not a problem. I apply the mountain. because I want uh, it uh, moved and align the, the our normal. And now I want uh, copy to points. My, if I create the copy to points, you can see what's happening in a very fast way. You can see tac, tac is copy, but uh, the direction is not correct. I can apply the transform and can change, for example, the rotation to 19 and I have this. And also I see all direction, it's by normal, by default, it's okay, it's perfect, it's working without problem now in this case. Now I want to show you how to create the same with, for example, the for each. And for each, uh, for example, you can uh, use, uh, I can copy that. Uh, copy that again after I talk why and I put this is here for now and now I take this and put here okay with for each we see we use it for example the for each four point and uh, for each we can connect the mountain here I can uh, create the copy to points, our copy to points, like before. And we can connect the tube and we can connect this here. Okay, and I want here and part this. I see now it's, uh, okay, it's that, but there is also the error. Also, if I have the transform here, because here I need to initialization our normal. For initialization our normal, we can use the wrangle and also we can use the VOP. The VOP, I want to show you the VOP, I think with VOP also in this case, it's very fast because I want to say my N vector is equals the N vector in input and output. What's I mean? I can create and click here, go here, and I say my N, it's in and out, it's n. Okay, it's very easy. And now if I go, I see my n is n. Okay, and this is very uh, easy to, to do and very easy also to create uh, that in very fast uh, with one line. But uh, I can create also with one line also in, uh, in the VEX. And with the VEX, I can say here, it's uh, also, or I can use that, okay? I can 
say it's normal is that, or I can say it's normal, it's equal to n. Select this. Okay. Okay, it's the second. Uh, copy. Sorry. Copy. Ah. And equal n. And I see now it's work in the same way. Okay. And it's equal n. It's a very, 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 very basic. Uh, uh, this vex uh, operation. Now I need to, to say how to create the variation for our geometry. And uh, I, I have the difference uh, uh, system, I can uh, use it uh, for that. And one is uh, uh, use the, um, the expression and use the metadata. Metadata, if I have here the first input, have here create metadata import, okay? If I click, I see by default, uh, Houdini is created for me in the loop, two attribute, two details attribute, is interaction and numeration, okay? This is the details, it's uh, the particular expression you can use inside Houdini, and usually it's uh, not the point, but it's uh, uh, like the, specific ID you can assign to your element. For example, it's not a point, it's not a geometry, but it's details. Details is like the container and inside you can find only iteration or numerical iteration uh, attribute. I can use, for example, the expression for connected uh, and for use the expression, I can uh, use the iteration of this number is like the copy of your method of for each, but you don't connect nothing. And you can use the this uh, interaction number, this interaction parameters attribute, this interaction attribute for create the copy and for create uh, the loop. How is work the details? Details, uh, it's uh, working uh, with create, for example, your scope, your attribute name, and your index, the index by default is zero. For connect that, you can use uh, the very fast way. I talked about this way before. And here I can go here, for example, the height, because I want to change the height of my element. And I can uh, cli click uh, uh, right mouse button. And on the reference here, I have the new reference, uh, new voice, it's a reference, Sheen data. And I can go to the explorer and for looking our metadata for each. So for each begin to metadata one. So I can go here and uh, now I have a lot of node, but I can filter with uh, for each or very, very fast. I can copy that or select that. Metadata one, okay. I have attribute, boundary box, and parameters. Inside the attribute, I have the global and the points. I want to work with global because it's the global attribute I can use it, and I can use the integration. If I accept, and I see it's connected, and it's created for me that expression, and we can go here, copy here, and analyze that. That is the details expression with the details. And you can have here your scope or your path node, the attribute and the index. The index by default is zero for looping, it's okay. So I want to change that because I want to create a random effects. So for create a random effects, you can edit this with very basic uh, things and it's the random, obviously, open brackets. You can have the details inside, you can close, and you can multiply this value, for example, for uh, 10 or uh, 25, if you want. And uh, if you upload that, you can go here, 
and we can write, for example, random in the end. If I apply, as you see, it's apply, but I need, for example, to multiply it, for example, 50 or 25. A little value you can see here there is this effect also if you want you can uh, apply a range you can also see fit uh, zero one with uh, this is now our uh, number okay and you can see the minimum and the maximum for example uh, five oops Five and the maximum is a twenty-five, ten, for example. And we can see what's happened. It's more regular, but you can you can check. This is the first parameter. Okay, the random, and you can say uh, you can multiply, for example. Or two, or you can divide it for five. Yeah, it's random, maybe it's uh, not more uh, here. Okay, now it's uh, it's working. Now it's working. and this is uh, another way for create the stamp. Okay, and uh, there is uh, also another. Uh, system for create for example uh, our random expression and uh, because uh, the for each is working with the details and we see also before is working also with the points so we can for example copy that here we can create the switch in this node I want to use for example the point expression point expression we can see before is working with the points, open brackets. You need to assign your path of your um, node. In this case, the for each, because it's working on the for each. So, dot dot slash for each two. And uh, you need the our uh, value of point is zero for loop and the our attribute now the attribute in this case is the position for our points and the value if you can say 10 for example and you can see it's up obviously in this case is take the position if my position is negative because my grid here you can see there is the negative part here, and here is the positive. It's aptly also the value, but if the value is more negative, it's go down. So you can pay attention of, uh, of this element. Also, if you apply, for example, the transform swap, you can check this. I apply the transform swap here, and I move it. I see my value it's only positive and here only negative so it's take the position like this you can take for example another kind of attribute for example we can try with the normal but it's not working here uh, the cd is not working because there is no color and in this case the position it's uh, it's okay only for this example Another things we can do it, we can also, we can create the variable for change the color, okay? For assign the different color if you want here. Or we can also, we'll continue to work with the normals, but uh, we can talk about this in the second time. Here I want, for example, also in this element, because uh, I can create also more Wrangle and create the, the chain for Wrangle. But I want to add more line here because sometimes I have a one vex with more lines. Sometimes it's good because you have all in one node, all your item, your structure is very good for you. And sometimes it's not good because maybe you have a lot of information 
in only one order is not very good for you. Okay, so I can continue the to work here, continue with this uh, node, and I remember there is the normal. And for assign, for example, the color, you can use uh, the particular uh, um, line. And the particular line is uh, you need to uh, the color. The color we see the attribute for the color is uh, at cd. And you can also recall, for example, cd point uh, r for red, b for blue, and g for, uh, for example, green. Equals, you can use the set. Set is particular system for creating the ID, the identification of your group. However, we can use the random, obviously, and obviously we can use, for example, random for ptnum, our red is ptnum, and uh, another for red, for green, uh, we can use, for example, another random, maybe for position, and we can use position per y, and uh, another we can use a zero, for example, okay, dot and comma. Uh, I see now here the console, maybe you have also you, or when you write here, sometimes you have the problem here, you can close it, you don't keep care about that. Here you can fix it, you can create your color. And for example, if you can change here, you, can, you don't want random here, you want zero for this color, and you can set like this. Control K from the keyboard, you, have, uh, you, you run your, uh, evaluate your scripting. And here you can see you have this color. And this is very nice also for assign the color is very fast and it's working very, very fast.